digital industrialization, also known as Industry 4.0, is shaping the future of the global economy and the competitiveness of countries, industries and companies depends on their ability to deploy it effectively, quickly and at scale. But what does all this mean for the human beings working in these industries or served by them? Now, that's both an existential question and a more nuanced one. The answer hinges less on technology and more on the business philosophy of the executives overseeing these industries and the governments that regulate them. The key factor that will determine whether Industry 4.0 is merely beneficial for customers or also a force for good is whether industry players harness AI and automation to eliminate the human workforce altogether, replacing them with robot armies. That's clearly the default goal of big tech companies, including Uber and Amazon. But fortunately, this trend is being countered by an encouragingly large number of industries, including telecommunications, and countries such as Sweden and Finland, and here in China. And they are fiercely committed to keeping humans in the loop. There will always be a human in the loop. The question is where and in what capacity. I, I don't think we are, it, it, is a, it is imminent that there will be a complete and total elimination of human involvement. They've worked out correctly that the safest, most efficient and ethical use of automation is as part of a sort of hybrid mode, a kind of distributed cyborg system, if you will, where technology is used to support and enhance the capabilities of the world's human population.